Actor Tom Felton, best known for his role as Draco Malfoy in the Harry Potter series, hasn't really been seen much in Hollywood ever since the series ended. As one of the breakout stars of the franchise, you would think that Hollywood would be trying to hire Tom for every role possible, but unfortunately for the actor, that isn't exactly the case. Though he has had a lot of success in earlier days of his career, things just haven't been the same in recent years, and there could be a number of reasons as to why that is. Today we're going to talk about the real reason Hollywood won't cast Tom Felton anymore. Too much pressure. I know that there are a lot of kids out there who dream of being the next big Hollywood star. A lot of actors begin their careers at young ages, and some of those child actors go on to be pretty big successes, but with that success comes a pretty big downside. Many former child actors have spoken out about their experiences of being in the spotlight at such a young age, and it doesn't sound like all sunshine and rainbows at all. This is one of the grievances that Tom Felton has with his career, and this could be one of the things that has held him back from the entertainment industry industry in later years. Tom has spoken out about the pressures of being a child actor and a very famous one at that since he was one of the stars of the biggest film franchises ever. Tom, when talking about his childhood, has said that he kind of resents the Harry Potter series and his part in it because he said that it robbed him of a normal childhood. That's completely understandable since usually kids don't have to grow up in the public eye doing interviews, press conferences and having paparazzi breathing down their necks. When Tom was asked about how he felt about the Harry Potter series coming to an end, he seemed a little bitter towards the films when he said that he was looking forward to it all being over and to having the freedom of not starring in films anymore because he hated his fame. Saying something like that might make Hollywood a little hesitant about hiring someone who hates their craft and what comes with it. Continuing on about his feelings towards the films and the part he played in his success, Tom told the Daily Mail, quote, One thing that people keep on saying to me is that the wealth and fame must have made up for missing out on my childhood. But the idea of money putting a price on your childhood is ridiculous. To me, fame is not a positive thing. The idea of being famous is a lot better than the reality. It's fantastic when you go to premieres and people cheer for you, but it's not real." End quote. His resentment towards everything might have hurt his career in the long run. Career change Usually when an actor gets out of one project, they start looking for the next big thing, that next big thing normally being another show or movie. But this wasn't exactly the case with Tom Felton. When his fellow Harry Potter castmates wrapped up their time in the franchise, Daniel Radcliffe moved on to Broadway and indie films, Emma Watson went to college, became an ambassador for a number of projects, and continued acting. But for Tom Felton, his next career move after Harry Potter was moving on to music, specifically rap. Yeah. He decided to leave the world of acting behind and got into the music scene, and in 2011, he announced that he had actually signed a contract with an indie label to produce some hip hop music. Speaking out about this new part in his life, the actor said, quote, I was thinking of doing some end dub style stuff. I am looking to get into the grime rap UK scene, end quote. He continued saying that he was really doing this to change his image. This really goes hand in hand with what he said about resenting his image as an actor and everything that came with it. So again, these comments and sudden career change certainly didn't help him out in Hollywood. What really sucked about this huge career change for Tom was the fact that his music never quite took off. Some songs had hit the public circuit, but not enough to really say that he found his next career path. It hurt his career taking this leap of faith and not having it pan out in his favor. Now before we carry on talking about why Hollywood doesn't want to work with Tom Felton anymore, why not take a moment to leave a like on this video if you're enjoying it so far, and while you're at it, consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this one. Typecasting Because Tom Felton played the role of Draco Malfoy so well, it ended up being more of a hindrance to his career rather than an asset. Draco was pretty much an antagonist character in the Harry Potter series, and because Tom was so good at portraying a character who was mean and cold, this made Hollywood executives want to cast him in more roles similar to Draco's character. Though this could be good in some way, it also puts an actor in a box because no matter what other roles he's cast in, he's still seen as the villain. Tom Felton has spoken out on a number of occasions, saying that his natural personality is nothing like that of Draco Malfoy, so he really wanted to distance himself from playing a villain role. But again, when typecasting comes into play, it's hard to get out of that box that Hollywood has put you in. Even the first role that Tom booked right after Harry Potter ended was an antagonist character, so this really just showed the actor that he was 
certainly stuck within his craft. Even Harry Potter himself, Daniel Radcliffe, had a hard time booking roles after the series ended because everyone still saw him as the boy wizard, but he worked really hard to break that image and still continues to do so. Maybe if Tom Felton had done what Daniel did, then he would be more successful in Hollywood these days. Adjustment Another reason that Hollywood might be overlooking Tom Felton for new roles could be because of the adjustment period that Tom took after rapping on Harry Potter. Tom has opened up in the past about how it took him some time to get used to the idea of auditioning for roles again and not having them handed to him as the next installment of Harry Potter would start up pretty much right after the last one ended. He had been doing that same routine since starting his work on the films at the age of 12 and so this was a big change for him to have to seek out new work. During an interview with the Daily Mail in 2011, 11, Tom opened up about how he had to adjust the auditioning process again, saying that things were much harder for him coming back to it after so many years. He told the publication, quote, I'm much more nervous in auditions now than when I was 11. You take a lot of hits before you get something good. The first few were heartbreaking, end quote. The actor even went on to say that auditioning became so hard for him that he considered walking away from the business altogether. As you can imagine, auditioning is a huge part of being an actor, and so nailing an audition is really what makes or breaks one's career. Since Tom had such a hard time getting back into it, Hollywood might have seen this as a huge weakness and might not have wanted to take a chance on the actor because of it. Box office bombs. We all know by now that money is really what matters to people in the film industry. I mean, yeah, there are those few in the industry who do it all for the love of the craft, but for the most part, people are just out here trying to make the big bucks. Film executives want to hire the best people for their projects to make sure that their projects go well and are successful enough to make them lots of dough. So when things go left and films bomb at the box office, it ends up hurting a lot of people. Not only will the studio have lost a lot of money, but the actors would also be blamed for the movie not doing well because of their performance. This can cause actors to lose a lot of credibility in the industry because people rarely want to take a chance on people who might not make the contribution that they're looking for in regards to their film. This could be why Tom Felton hasn't really been hired much in Hollywood these days because some of the films that Tom booked following the end of Harry Potter didn't really do too well. To some, Tom isn't considered a bankable actor in Hollywood because his recent films haven't brought in much money for the studio and that's never a good thing. Being associated with so many box office bombs doesn't make a casting agent's job very easy because they can only do so much to get their client's foot in the door and in front of the director. This is why a lot of actors turn to indie films when coming out of big franchises. Actors like Daniel Radcliffe and Taylor Lautner have gone into the indie circuit after leaving their respective hit films because it's a good way to get into the industry without being pressured to make a lot of money. It's almost like building yourself and your career back from the ground up. So maybe Tom should look into this before really throwing in the towel with Hollywood. He's still a notable name, he's just gotta grind it out to get back on top and back in Hollywood's good books. Maybe we'll see this in the new year. Before we wrap things up for today, I want you guys to leave a comment down below telling me what you guys think about Tom Felton. Are are you guys fans of his? Have you kept up with him since the end of Harry Potter? Leave me your thoughts down in the comments. Speaking of comments though, let's shout out some of yours from our video top 10 celebrities who might get cancelled in 2022. Don Valerie says, Chrissy T bullying a child. I honestly don't understand why she wasn't prosecuted for harassment. That child was tormented regularly by an older adult. I would have been on her porch with the police. Inexcusable. Cancel. Honestly, I, I can kind of see your point. I kind of, I half agree. I mean, I'm not really one to condone cancel culture because that is just so incredibly toxic. But yeah, I feel like the entire premise of what Chrissy did was kind of overlooked. People kind of just attacked her, but didn't really think about really what she did. I mean, that was pretty mean. It was incredibly mean. How are you gonna do that? Really, do better. Kathleen Mountain Horse says, funny how wearing cornrows if you're white is appropriating culture, but straightening, dyeing blonde, or wearing polo shirts for black people isn't. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> I just had to shout out this comment because I, I kind of low key felt like that was a dig at me because that's kind of what I was doing in that video. Either way, Cornrows, I'm not gonna get into the entirety of this, but like cornrows is actually part of black culture. There's a whole history behind it. Polo shirts and dyeing your hair blonde and straightening it, it's not really part of a culture. It's just a trend, but you know, go off, I guess. 
do your thing. Steve Grand Jam says Justin Bieber should get cancelled next year and Avril Lavigne should not get cancelled next year. I guess I could agree with that. I mean, Justin Bieber is not really doing much these days, but I guess I would cancel him for the Tim Biebs because they just weren't good. I'm sorry, Justin, but like, do better next time. But Avril, she's out here living her best life. I can't wait to see what she's got planned in the future. O'Neal Johnson says Kim and her family not looking too good for them. Yeah, definitely. Things are always kind of interesting with the Kardashians, so honestly, only time will tell when the next big thing happens. I feel like it's gonna be something with Kanye and, and Pete Davidson or something bizarre like that, so guess we'll have to wait and see. Movie Man 909 says, I love your outfit, Brie. You're so beautiful. Why, thank you. Everything I was wearing from that video is from the thrift store, so like, shout out to thrift store peoples, you know? Cool. Anyways, thank you so much for all of your comments and for watching this video. I've been your host, Brie Room, and until next time, stay safe, make good choices, and stay groovy, friends.